Hello everyone, welcome to this second touch designer tutorial uh, on parametric equations where we're gonna see how to recreate the Archimedes spiral on touch designer. So uh, first thing uh, we're gonna end up with a network like this uh, but the file that I'm gonna share with you will have these two containers this one has the example you, you're seeing here and we're gonna start with the equations in the pre-setup container when we have some uh, code, some snippets of the code so we can easily uh, save some time on doing this so I'm gonna close this viewer and the first thing we're gonna look is this here in the Wolfram Mad World you can search for Archimedes spiral and you're gonna see that the equation for the Archimedes spiral is R equals A for angle A times angle I, I should say Mm, uh, if you see, you you can read that we're working with polar equations. Some of the curves uh, we're gonna see in this course will have a polar equation. So we need to convert the polar equation to parametric equation, and we can do this using this principle. That is, uh, for the values of x. Uh, we're gonna multiply the uh, polar equation times the cosine of the angle and for y is the polar equation times sine of the angle so in this first part we're gonna look how to do this with chops so sorry for that let's start first we're gonna uh, use a constant where we will define our parameters so the first parameter we're gonna define is samples and we will give it a value of 100 the second parameter is 1 is, is sorry is a and we're gonna give it a value of one for now and the second one is cycles and in a little bit I will explain why we need this this parameter so after that we're gonna place a pattern chop this pattern if you remember is where we wanna define or angle t and we need to select the type ramp and channel we can change the name to t and uh, we're gonna uh, export sorry we're gonna export first the number of samples in the parameter length on the pattern and then we're gonna export the parameter cycles to the to range parameter so uh, before continuing here we're gonna work with uh, radians because it is more uh, accurate or has more accuracy on doing these shapes so we're gonna do with or we're gonna work with radians so we need to multiply this for math.py times 2 and we are okay for now after this we're gonna place a select and we're gonna drag the constant to the select and we're gonna uh, select the parameter a then 
we're going to multiply because we're doing the polar equation so we need to connect a mat and in combined chops we're gonna select multiply so basically uh, this is our uh, polar equation and if you see uh, it's no much helpful for us because it uh, doesn't have the values for x and y so that's why we need to convert them to uh, from polar to parametric so first we're gonna add a null on this mat and then we're gonna place a select and we're gonna select the parent. Then we're gonna connect this null to the null we have placed before. Let me. Okay, and then we're gonna make an, a folder or a base where we're gonna make the conversion from polar to parametric. So this base we're we it's going to be useful for us for future tutorials because we don't need to recreate this again you we just need to save it so the thing is we're gonna select these two operators and we wanna right click on the in, on the network and we're gonna select collapse selected then we're gonna rename this from to polar to parametric and we can give it a color like this black or whatever you want from here it doesn't matter and we're gonna go inside and make our calculations so our calculations go from a multiplying or polar equation that is this we can rename this polar to polar and this is our angle we will also rename this to angle so uh, first we're gonna uh, calculate the function sine and cosine of our angle and we can do it with a function chop we place the function chop we change this to cosine also we can rename it to cos and the angle units remember we're working with radians then we can copy and paste this one and just change the function to sine and rename this to sin the next step is to multiply our polar equation uh, by the cosine and the sine functions. So we're gonna use a mat and we're gonna uh, input the cosine and the polar equation. And in, on combined jobs, we select multiply. Then we can copy this parameter and we just change the input that is the cosine to the sine and we can replace it the wire to the using the output and uh, connecting it to the wire that is the the what the wire that we want to replace and when it's yellow we can replace it so these are our functions converted and we want to do a, lo a little more calculations so we can save this uh, base this component and uh, for further tutorials the next is to merge or both uh, equations and then rename it We're going to rename it using t brackets x y and then we connect this to the final null and this will output from 
for uh, containers. So the last thing we're gonna do here is to uh, add our last uh, channel that corresponds to the T TC axis and we can do it by copying this parent so we don't have to export again the things but we're gonna uh, delete this expression because uh, we don't want to to multiply our value for the cycles and, and the value of p so we uh, right right click on the parameter and we select the let expression then on channel we add the C so we don't need to rename again and uh, we change our constant or our type from RAM to constant and our amplitude to zero then we add a merge and connect the TC channel so this is our uh, last or uh, operator where we apply or or parametric equations or uh, the conversion of our parametric equations and we can see here that we have this this spiral so uh, I'm gonna to change the layout to see our top and we can see that this is our curve so for now we can play with our parameters so as you see the A is like the scale of the curve so it increments as A increments and uh, we define cycles because this is just one cycle of this spiral so uh, as you see it, it starts and ends on the same value of y so if we play with this parameter we can increase the cycles of our spiral but as we increase these uh, cycles we see that the spiral is a little bit uh, square that is because we don't have uh, no samples to make it uh, look a little bit smoother so we can change this adding uh, zero so we have 1000 samples and we see that the spiral is um, uh, smooth so the last thing uh, we can play here is with the material i added other line material so we can uh, add different colors what line material does is that makes an interpolation from two colors you're choosing here from the line near and line far so here uh, the line of the or the shape the spiral has only one color because uh, we're making this uh, from the camera view and the camera is positioned on the on the c-axis but we don't have any depth on the c-axis so we can add some depth to this curve with a changing or tc from constant to ram and our amplitude let's make it two so as you see uh, now the spiral changes and we can play with the line material so we can define how, how much width the far line got and the width near got and we can add a little more more spirals we can add whatever we, we want so basically this is the part for chops i hope this is useful for you don't don't forget to save this component you can do it by clicking here on the palette and on my components 
you can add it to uh, any folder you have here you just drag it here and leave it and you have your component so next time you can just drag it here and we'll do the complications for making from polar to parametric so uh, i hope this tutorial was helpful if you have any comments or uh, any feedback you can uh, do it here on the comment section and uh, if you like this uh, you can subscribe to my channel and like the video so you can uh, see future course we're gonna be doing in this in this um, I should name it course or series so uh, I will leave you the link to the to this file in the in the description of the video and we'll see you uh, I will see you in the next part that we will cover the Python script to make also this same curve so see you next time